Happy holidays. Hi, I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings and today I am going to be taking you for a walk through the greenhouse to kind of show you what's going on during the winter months. Um, not a lot going on right now, but some things I think you'll find very interesting that we are currently doing. Uh, to start off with, we're going to have a few things we're going to touch on in this video. Uh, first off, we are going to show you some of the behind the scenes with what's going on right now. Obviously, like I said, there's planting going on. Uh, we also have a little bit of construction going on in our shipping area. And then I am going to be also showing you a new area that we are going to be putting up new greenhouses in. So we're pretty excited for that. And the excavating is underway with that project right now. Um, but before we begin, two important things I want to let you know. So now we're going into the pre-sale season at GardenCrossings.com where we are now taking orders for spring shipment. For those of you who are new to our channel, Garden Crossings is not only a retail garden center located in Zeeland, Michigan, but we also are an online garden center that ships annuals, perennials, and shrubs all across the United States. We've been doing this for about 30 years now, so um, we really take pride in the plants we grow and are just truly honored to be able to grow plants that you will be able to grow in your gardens and landscapes. I will put a link also to our website if you would like to pre-order. Uh, basically, we are taking orders for spring shipment. So any orders that are placed now for plants, they will not get shipped out until an appropriate time in the spring for your zone. So it is based off of hardiness zone when your plants ship. And when you get to the checkout section, you'll be able to see what our suggested ship week is. If you feel like you need to alter that ship week either earlier or later, you do have the opportunity to do that so that you are assured that your plants are gonna deliver when it's appropriate for you in your zone. Another fun thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be highlighting Christmas trees. So I'm going to put a link below where you can submit to me a description about your holiday traditions for what you do when you're putting up your Christmas trees. Are you a real person? Are you an artificial tree person? Um, is there some story behind the ornaments or the decorations that go on your tree? I would love to hear your story and what goes into you creating your Christmas tree. Now this was hard for me. A friend asked me to do this for her and I thought this is a great idea. So that's why I'm kind of extending this ask out to you as well. For me, decorating a Christmas tree is not an extravagant occasion. Mine is very simple, very traditional. And to be honest, it looks like a kid's tree. So don't feel like you have to have this elaborate, beautiful Christmas tree. They're all beautiful, right? Because we do them around what our interests are and what our decor is. So don't feel like you have to have this showpiece of a Christmas tree to submit. I am interested in all kinds of trees from across the United States. So that link will be below. We'll have you fill it out in a Google Doc. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna be asking for your name, the state you live in. Just give me a short little write-up about your Christmas tree and the tradition around it and send me five to 10 pictures and you may be featured in one of our YouTube videos. In the production greenhouses, we have various things going on. Uh, where I'm at right now, uh, we've got one of our team members and she is just trimming up the perennials, getting them ready for their winter sleep. It feels fairly nice out here today. I mean, it's still a little chilly, but it's like 20 degrees outside. So even if it's 55 here in the greenhouse, that is very pleasant feeling. So like I said, she's going through, she's trimming, she's weeding, she's getting the plants all nicely cleaned up. So that way, once we do start turning the heat down and the plants start going dormant, uh, they are all prepped and ready for next spring when we slowly start to wake them back up again. Then one of our growers, he is checking <laughs> out all the greenhouses right now. We have them all sectioned off um, into different heating zones. You can see that there's plastic down on either side. Uh, typically in the summer and in the fall, the side curtains are all totally rolled up and it's just a one great big wide open space. Uh, but now that it's starting to cool off a bit, every area is specifically climate controlled for the different plants that are growing in each specific area. We definitely are preparing for spring. You can see we've got our huge espoma order just sitting here in the greenhouses. 
So for those of you who are on the lookout for the Espoma Land and Sea Gourmet Compost, we've got you covered. That is something that can be ordered online and shipped directly to your door. These big black bales that you're seeing here are potting soil, and this is our sun grow mix. We have annual and perennial mixes that we use. So again, these are probably about five or six bales deep, and they're just waiting for, I believe we're gonna start planting in January. So they're waiting for January when we'll be digging in and going through soil um, like it's planting season, because it will be. Walking through these greenhouses right now, these are where a lot of our eight inch or one gallon shrubs are grown. And because these are all on sim similar climate or temperature schedules, we have not rolled down the curtains in this area. Uh, so with the shrubs, we one thing we've noticed is that it's taken a while for them to go dormant. We had a really warm fall, so it never really got too cold. So the plants are they're a little behind normal schedule for going dormant for the season. So we are taking full advantage of this cold weather that we're having right now. And it is quite cold in this greenhouse that I'm standing in just because we want to push these shrubs along and tell them, hey, it's time now to go to sleep. The thing that is really pretty about this time of year is seeing the different transitions that the foliage goes through on the plants. So in front of me here, is the Tough Stuff Aha Hydrangeas. And they've got some beautiful burgundy colors going on in their foliage. I'll show you some more where they're even more beautiful. And it's just really neat because outside in the landscape, very rarely do we see the beautiful transformation of the leaf color, just because normally it does get cold so fast and the plants don't have as much time to slowly acclimate to the cold which brings on the vibrancy of some of the foliage that we're seeing. The hostas, that's the yellow you're seeing here, they definitely did get the memo that it is now time for them to go to sleep for the winter. So here we have Kelly and she is helping those hostas that I just showed you that are going dormant, helping them along. So instead of waiting for all those leaves to fall off naturally, they're very slimy and are they coming off pretty easy, Kelly? They are. Yeah, so she's just grabbing the pots and yeah, hardly has to do anything just to get those leaves off. So that's kind of helping us with getting things cleaned up faster opposed to, like I said, waiting for the leaves to all drop and fall. And this way too, we have more control over where they're going and when the cleanup process is happening. So our Stilt Pro potting machine is getting a workout today. This potting machine actually has been just an amazing time saver for us. Um, we actually have two of them and they work side by side. And it just basically, it recycles the soil, or I shouldn't say recycles, but we'll say recycles. So it's, it's all brand new soil, but it gets, um, you can see it dropping there. They use it to fill the pots and any soil that's not used gets put back down into the hopper. and gets recycled back through again that they can use on to the next plant that they're using. Uh, before we just had a big old bin and a rake and a shovel that we'd have to dig into to get the soil as we needed it and it was very very much hand potting. Um, this too is still hand potting but in a much much more efficient way. So right now it looks like they're working on some perennials getting them potted up for next summer sales. So this side, she has a little bit of different style on how she does it. She has all her plants in a pot and is just letting the soil kind of drop on top of the plants and into the pots. Once she's got enough, she goes in and packs the soil around the plants. And if she needs a little bit more, she gets it there out of the hopper, puts them in the tray and they'll get tagged and ready to set down shortly. Right now I am in an area that is going to become part of our new shipping room. So last spring we had an area that we enclosed, insulated, and got some nice air conditioners in that kept it really cool during the summer for those that were working in that area. So because that works so well, we are now doing that in other areas in the greenhouse. So this here is part of our shipping room, like I mentioned. So they are getting the walls all framed 
in and insulated, putting a nice ceiling up on top. And then they will they'll put something up there um, to help keep the ceiling all nice and insulated as well. So this is a nice winter project for them until the next project that they will be working on shortly, which will be a new greenhouse that's coming. So they're getting doorways framed in, so we'll have some nice real doors that way we can keep keep doors open or doors shut as needed based on if we're going to keep the heat in or keep the heat out of the areas. This is a work in progress, so I will be sure to keep you updated as various things change or get worked on. So stay tuned for more progress in this particular area. Raising the wall. So this was our old shipping room. When we first started, all of the shipping actually happened in this small little space. We've outgrown this shipping space by two or three times now. Um, we've had upgraded larger areas. Uh, but what our vision is for this space in the upcoming year is, is that we're gonna get this finished off real nice. And this is gonna become more of a conference area here at the greenhouse. So if we have meetings, or if I'm doing talks, presentations, that kind of thing. This will be a nice space where we'll put a TV in and chairs and tables where we can do um, educational talks and experiences for customers. So right now it looks kind of like a little bit of a storage junkyard, but this too is gonna get a beautiful transformation and makeover during the winter months. This area here is probably the most exciting um, thing I have to talk to you about. And this is where we are gonna be putting up seven new greenhouses this year. Let's take a look. So in this area, the majority of it um, that we're looking at kind of right now was excavated about three or four years ago, um, forward thinking at that time of when we were going to be putting more greenhouses in this area. So we got it pretty much all smoothed out and ready for um, this day and we didn't know what this day was going to be but we are now at that point where this day is here uh, so the excavator has come back out and has ripped out all of the tar driveway that we had going back to the greenhouse so the you can see where the drop off is there so that is going to be the start of our new shipping area as well as greenhouse space and you can see the doorway there we took the garage door down so that the boys are, like I just showed you, working inside there, um, getting it all framed in for a more um, air conditioned and heated area. And then that is going to lead into the shipping area, which is gonna be probably right about in this uh, frame that we're looking at here now. So I will certainly update you on that as the progress happens. Um, right now you can see not much is going on. Um, but it's all smoothed out, the piping is in place, so they're gonna put some drains drain tile in here so that we've got proper drainage nothing worse than having water backed up or flooding in the greenhouse area uh, we also had to move our um, septic area or drain field i guess is what it's called uh, because it was going to land in part of the area where the greenhouse was going to be so now the drain field kind of goes from the grassy area all the way back about to that hill you're seeing there so that, now that's properly placed so it's not in the way. Uh, we also, and we'll pop some pictures or video up, we also had some bins in this area, which was, uh, we call them bark bins, although we never really sold bark or mulch here. Uh, but they were our compost bins where we store compost, um, other random junk, like to be honest, they were just kind of collectors of, didn't know where to go with it, go throw them out in the bark bin area. Uh, so that is going to be moved over more so where that orange um, I think that's some sort of an excavator. So the, the bark bins will be at that end of the property now. So we're just really excited to watch the transformation. The greenhouse might be showing up here the end of this week. Um, seven greenhouses are going up right now. We'll probably be only using about four of them this year, but we're gonna get the ground stakes in and the poles all up because the ones we're gonna be using are actually gonna be starting here closest to me four greenhouses and then we'll have three areas that are open and we'll just use those as outdoor growing space 
although it'll essentially be in a greenhouse that's just not finished um, without a roof. So yeah, we're excited for this project and show you the progress as it goes along. This is always the worst time to be doing building is in the winter because it's absolutely freezing out. Uh, but it is the time that we have to do it. Uh, we and, and I say that we actually are not putting up the greenhouse structure ourselves. Uh, we have a um, gentleman in the area that constructs greenhouses, so he'll be putting up the greenhouses. Uh, we use the Declute greenhouse system, so he'll be putting those up once he has the structure all up. That's when the boys, and I say the boys because they're my boys, <laughs> will get in there and do the plumbing, do the electrical hang the water and basket lines and just get everything ready for the growing season. So that is exciting and we will certainly take you along on that product on the progress as the building and construction begins. Even in the winter there's always something going on here at Garden Crossings. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video if you are somebody who likes to prepare and plan for spring we are now taking pre-orders at our website gardencrossings.com where we will ship you quality annuals, perennials, and shrubs directly to your door. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful holiday season. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.